guys, Angel here. So excited about this video. But again, before we get started, I want to remind you guys that the trap candles are still at free delivery or free shipping and handling if you use the code trap angel make sure you watch the last video or my other last video i'll put it somewhere in the description box below so you guys don't miss out on free shipping on these candles until july 1st of 2017. okay so let's talk about profiting from your passion in seven easy steps you guys so number one you have to believe that you can i don't know what kind of family or what kind of background you come from if there's Nobody in your family that has ever profited from doing exactly what they love to do. And if that's the case, sometimes that can be challenging because the people in your family will say, well, that can't be done or you can't make money doing that or who do you think you are? So all that kind of mindset stuff that typically people have to go through if they don't come from a family that supports making money doing what you love. So number one is that you have to believe that you can. Number two is that you have to identify your gift, your skill, and your talent. All of us are born with one, so I don't want anybody in the comments to say, well, I don't have one. Yes, you do. You have to look for it. You have to discover it. You have to pay attention to what people say that they like that you do. Some of you girls can do eyelashes. You guys can do hair. You guys can do makeup. You guys can style people. You guys can give advice. There's so many gifts and talents. It's not just singing and dancing, you know, things that we see um, on TV. Somebody is passionate about bugs and they're writing blogs about bugs. So it doesn't matter what your gift is, you just need to identify it. The third thing, you need to write the vision and make it plain. Now, many of you guys know that I owned a boutique several years ago, I never wrote a business plan and it was one of the biggest mistakes that I made in my entire career as a businesswoman, not writing down what I needed to do and the vision that I saw so I knew every single day what my mission was and I was, wasn't was focused. So having it written down, writing a business plan is essential to your focus and to the success of your business. Number four is to start giving. Uh, business has changed since before. You know, we can't just say buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff anymore because we can log on to YouTube and people are giving away free information. There's free information all over the place. So you literally have to get in there and figure out how you can give of yourself freely before you start charging people. So if you do makeup, do makeup tutorials, write blogs about makeup, give tips on your Instagram or whatever social media platform that you have, you want to make sure that you are giving, which leads me into number five. When you start to do this, what you're going to do is you're going to build an audience. And a lot of people make this mistake is that they think, well, I'm just going to write this book and I'm going to start selling it. You have to build an audience. If you don't have anyone to sell it to, you're not going to make any money. And a lot of, um, let's say, entrepreneurs that are just starting out, they think, okay, so I, I have this product, I'm going to write this book or I'm going to create this, uh, this gadget or whatever. And they don't think that, okay, after your mother and your sister and your cousin buys it, now what? You have to learn how to market. You have to learn how to get out and put yourself out there. So after your friends and your family and your neighbors and everyone that you know that's in close proximity to you, when they purchase it from you, then what? You have to learn how to market beyond your sphere of immediate influence. And that goes into marketing. Number six is you have to learn how to package and position yourself. So let's take, for instance, if you do hair. Learning how to package and positioning yourself is learn literally packaging yourself whatever you are, that's your package. Like for instance myself, I'm a coach so I have packaged my information. I've written books, I have classes. That's packaging your information, packaging yourself and then position yourself in a way that people will know that you have the goods, that you know what, it, or that you have what it is that they need. So you have to learn how to package and position yourself. And the last and final thing, which is the most, one of the most important steps, is you have to learn how to sell. Selling is a psychology. Late, like I said, later are the days where you can just hand out a flyer and say, here, come buy my stuff. You really have to learn how to sell. You have to learn how to talk to people's pain points. You have to learn 
and to understand what keeps people up at night and you have to learn how to talk to that because people typically don't buy off of logic, they buy off of their emotions and they buy off of whatever their pain points are. So you have to learn how to sell and that is a never ending educational process because uh, with the way that the world is changing so rapidly, we have to always be abreast on how to reach people and how to really talk to them to get them to buy our services and our products. So I hope that this video has helped you guys. I love you guys from the bottom to the top and I'll see you guys in the next video.